Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, AKA the Daily Wealth Ninja, and I am here today to share with you something really awesome, or at least I think so. Um, <clears throat> before we get started, gotta be legal here, right? I am not a licensed financial advisor. What I'm sharing with you today is simply for your educational purposes. Please do speak with a licensed financial advisor if you have questions. You feel, to, you feel free to ask me, but again, I'm not a licensed professional. I'm simply sharing with you what I've learned and how it has helped me on my journey. So what are we talking about today? Forex. That's all I talk about on this particular channel um, with this particular no, uh, what's the, no, nomaker, nomaker, mm, whatever. <laughs> um, and I'm here today to talk to you about Forex. So for those of you who may not know what Forex is, it's basically your ability to potentially make money by having a an educated decision on buying or selling currency pairs. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you just a couple of things. Let me go ahead and get my window up here. Hey, Walter. Hey, Words. Thanks for joining. All right. I need, there we go. Share screen. Perfect. Okay. So today I want to talk to you about a couple of different orders when it comes to Forex. So the very first one is your market order. Your market order basically means whatever it is for price right now at this point in time. It may or may not be that exact price depending on market conditions and even sometimes your broker, but it's as close to what it current, currently at is at in the marketplace, hence market order. Your limit entry. So there's two kinds of limit entries. There's a buy limit and a sell limit. Let me go ahead and start to draw this out for you. So in a buy limit, so you're gonna set your buy limit at some point for your, your um, trade. And let's say that your current price is here. You are expecting that it's going to come down here and then come back up. That's your buy limit. So basically it hits that point and it goes back up. So when you have a buy limit set, when the price happens, that means that you're going to be triggered to go into a particular call and you will be inside of that trade. A sell limit, again, this is, let's say your sell limit, let's say that the price is here. You expect that it's going to come up to this point and then drop down into a sell. It's basically the exact same as a buy limit, but it's just the opposite direction. The next thing that we have is a stop entry. So it's very similar to a limit, except on a buy, let's say that you have it here and you have a limit entry right here. What that means is you're expecting it to hit that particular limit and keep going. So you expect it to keep going down in a sell limit, right? So this is a sell limit. If you were expecting a buy limit, you would be under your particular price and you expect it to go and continue upwards. And so once it goes through that line, you're going to be in that particular buy or sell uh, stop entry. Your stop loss order. So your stop loss order is pretty simple. It just simply means that you've added a stop loss to your order. What that means is, is when you put a trade in and it doesn't go your way, if you don't have a stop loss on your orders, then it's going to keep going and going and going and deplete your uh, account, which is never good. And so there are some people who do trade without, without stop loss orders. I personally think it's foolish, um, even for those that are like, amazing at it because you can't predict the you can't predict the markets you just can't and so you should especially if you're learn, just learning forex you should always have a stop loss order on every single one now i have done a training on this already about how to maximize your roi while minimizing your stop loss um, so please be sure to if you're watching this on facebook shoot me a message or leave me a comment below if you're watching this on youtube i will be putting a card up for you for that training video Okay, so a trailing stop. A trailing stop is basically, let's say that you are in an order, right? So let's say that you're in an order and it keeps going up and up and up and up, all right? But you have a stop loss that's maybe, I don't know, 20 pips, okay? So a trailing stop loss means that every time the price goes up, your stop loss goes up too. So let's say one, two, three, four, right? So this is gonna go up four as well because you have a trailing stop loss of 20 pips. So that way, no matter what happens, 
if if it keeps going up and up and up, right? And it somehow go and it eventually goes back down. Once it hits that 20 pip stop loss, you're out of your trade. But with the trailing one, it's going to keep going up. So you're going to maximize your ROI on that unless you haven't done proper um, risk assessment and you set that chilling stop loss um, when it's not um, in the best option. Right. So <clears throat> I'll go into that later. But basically, again, your trailing stop loss means that as the price goes up for your cost, your your stop loss will go up as well. Or if you're in a sell, your um, OK, so if that was a buy, if you're in a sell, right, if it's going this direction and you have your stop loss up here, then as your price goes, ooh, <laughs> as your price goes down, uh, your stop loss will also go down. OK, so next one is good till canceled. This is actually one I've never seen in Forex. Um, it could be because of the brokers that I've used. Maybe I just haven't seen the option yet. But good till canceled is basically um, this is a potential trade that I want to have. And if it doesn't get hit, um, just keep it uh, as, as a standing potential, potential trade until I cancel it. So that means that it's always open until it either gets hit or you cancel it. Again, I haven't seen this in Forex per se, um, unless you just hit, unless you just keep your limit entry or your uh, stop entry and it just never hits, right? Then that'll be good till canceled. Um, good for the day. Again, I think this is also a, a stock one. I have not seen it for Forex. So if you want a good for the day, all that means is you set this up for the day. If it doesn't hit, you manually cancel it. Again, with stocks, there was a way to do it where um, it's set up to cancel f automatically. I, I am not personally aware of it doing it for Forex, but that's what good for the day means. One cancels the other. So when one cancels the other, let's just say that you have a price, it's right here, and you have um, one, two orders, right? So what one cancels the other means is that when this one gets turned on, this one gets canceled and vice versa. That's what one cancels the other means. If you have one triggers the other, this might be, for example, let's say that you are in a trade and you have, let's say, a take profit right here and it's in a sell, right? And then let's say that you also have um, another potential trade here, but maybe it's a um, stop entry, right? So you might have one that that this one, once this one finishes, it also triggers this other one. So basically when one happens, it also triggers this other one to happen. So that's what one triggers the other um, means. So other than that, that is what I wanted to share with you guys for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you got value from this, please like this video, share it with if you think someone should hear it today. If you're on Facebook, be sure to turn on the live button so that you're notified the next time I go live. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there should be a little subscribe button right here. Be sure to tap on that and then click the little bell to be notified when um, I provide new information. Now, how do do I get all of this cool stuff that I'm sharing with you on Forex? Well, there's a couple of things, right? One, there is something called babypips.com. However, it is free, but you don't have any mentorship. You don't really have a community that I've, I've seen. I haven't really gone through it a whole bunch. Um, but for me personally, I have a system that a friend of mine introduced me to, and it's absolutely wonderful. Not only does it provide you actual training to help you get the basics, but it provides you over 60 plus live hours of direct mentorship from people who are killing it in Forex. You also also have a community of traders to lean on. You can learn about crypto if you really wanted to. Um, and it's just it's just awesome. It gives you tools. It gives you a community. It gives you all the things that I wish I had first learned about when I first started looking into Forex. So if you want more information about that, please leave a comment down below. There should be a link if you're on my YouTube, I think. And my mind are just pushing you to my, <laughs> my Facebook page. Um, but speaking of my Facebook page, if, you're, if this is all new to you and kind of just, you know, just too much. I have a five day basics boot camp that is completely free, ready for you when you are. All you have to do is send this message, 5DBC, to my Daily Wealth Ninja Facebook page, and it will start the process so that you can learn some of the simple. Um, beginner pieces of Forex, as well as get access to my free group. So again, thank you so much for watching me today. My name is Cassandra, aka The Daily Wealth Ninja. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.